Okay, once uh, once you do all have all of your um, idle screws, you've turned them all in. You've counted how many turns it takes to seat them completely. That way you know from a complete seat how many turns you have to pull them back out in order to have your idle stay at the uh, same ratio that it was before you disassembled it. Once you've done that, you've numbered all, you've numbered all your screws, you've written down how many turns it takes to turn them in. Once you get all those out of there, there are uh, you know three little mixing chambers on the on the side of your throttle body. <coughs> Excuse me. These mixing chambers they take in a little bit of air and a little bit of fuel and throw a mist to the back side of your throttle body, and that's what feeds your idle. Now you um, then we'll take those apart, take all those screws out of there, discard the gaskets. All of these parts right here, these are all the uh, all the idle screws from our uh, our previous uh, throttle body that's already uh, soaking in the engine tuner. All of this stuff I'll put in a container, or I may just uh, if I've got room in some of the carburetor bowls, I will uh, put this this stuff in with some of the carburetor bowls, so it gets cleaned up as well in the engine tuner and comes out nice and shiny. Um, one thing I did touch on, or I did not touch on, this right here is where your uh, where your cam runs on. There's a roller that goes on this. You need to remove the washer and the roller from that before you soak this portion in the engine tuner because it's a softer plastic and the engine tuner will damage it. Sometimes you've got to apply a little heat to the, uh, I mean, I'm talking just like a heat gun, apply a little heat to the to the rubber O-ring that, 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 um, that holds that onto there, pull the O-ring off, pull your roller off, and then you can go ahead and, uh, and soak your, uh, soak your throttle body. So, I'm going to go ahead and get all this stuff disassembled, get it all soaked. Once it's uh, ready to come out of the uh, solution, then we're going to go through, uh, I'm going to show you how I assemble a carburetor. And, um, and by that time, you guys should uh, be able to go get a job at your local Evander dealership. So, bear with me here for a little while. I'll be back shortly.